Today I'm speaking with Gigil Marme from Griffith University, um, who has just had a paper accepted in rural and remote health titled What Tuberculosis Infection Control Measures Are Effective in Resource-Constrained Primary Facilities, a Systematic Review of the Literature. Congratulations, Gigil. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for speaking with me today. I wonder if you could first tell us a little bit about the research team involved in this review. Right. Uh, thank you, Melissa. Um, the research team includes myself as the lead uh, investigator, and I'm a PhD candidate uh, doing public health policy at Griffith University. And um, Zenon Rutherford is the associate professor of public health at Griffith University. And um, Neil Aris is also a professor of public health and director of higher degree research at Griffith University. Terrific. And how did this research come about? Um, this study is basically part of my PhD overall program. So my study basically looks at the implementation of tuberculosis infection and prevention control in Papua New Guinea. And so when we started, we decided to do a, a systematic literature review, exploring uh, infection control in resource-constrained healthcare settings in low- and middle-income countries. And so we found a gap in the literature in what TB infection and prevention control are relevant for uh, resource-constrained health facilities in healthcare settings. And so our aim is to investigate what uh, TB infection and prevention control are relevant for resource-constrained healthcare settings, particularly in low- and middle-income countries. What were your key findings from, from, the, from your review? So our key findings show that uh, simple public health interventions, such as um, establishing a core officer screening system at a health facility, uh, isolation of patients with tuberculosis, uh, modifying consultation room and allowing adequate ventilation into the consultation room and maintaining adequate uh, ventilation system such as opening windows and doors in the ward are effective TB infection and prevention control measures. In addition, we have also found that lack of patient education, unsupportive uh, workplace culture, inadequate supply of personal protective equipment, uh, insufficient isolation facilities, and poor physical facilities are critical barriers to the implementation of TB infection and prevention control measures in healthcare settings. So Giggle, how are these findings important? Uh, thank you. Firstly, uh, my finding will be important for policy as well as TB care services in the healthcare service. So firstly, uh, the study will strengthen public health policy on community-based programs and awareness and strengthen uh, health education and health motion activities addressing the social determinant of health, which causes the majority of infections in the community. And secondly, is to train and upskill healthcare workers on specific TB infection and prevention control strategy, because healthcare workers play an important role in translating um, health policy into actions at health facility. And finally, is to improve the healthcare infrastructure, such as a uh, simple designated TB ward, isolation space, uh, ventilation systems, and laboratory facilities to perform basic uh, TB diagnostic and investigative uh, service in rural health settings. So what, what has to happen next after these findings? So our review provides convincing and uh, consistent evidence of uh, TB infection and prevention control measures in reducing and preventing tuberculosis uh, from uh, infected patients to healthcare workers in healthcare settings and eventually spread it into the community. And so as a result of uh, uh, this study, uh, we recommend more research in low and middle income countries on healthcare systems influence on the implementation of TB infection prevention and control policy in rural settings. And secondly, 
uh, introduce infection prevention and control policy in training and education programs or curriculum in training institutions. Uh, this will increase the capacity for healthcare workers on TB infection and prevention control policy and strategy, and at the same time, also increase the human resource for TB resource program in the healthcare industry. We're really pleased that you're publishing this important work in our rural and remote health. Thank you very much for that. And um, best wishes for the rest of your study. Thank you. Thank you very much, Melissa. It's nice talking to you. And thank you so much for accepting my paper to be published in this uh, journal. Thank you so much.